Manila, Philippines while an analyst says silence on the Saba claim is pragmatic. All it takes to revive a decades-old controversy is an 80-character tweet, not even the tough-talking Rodrigo Duterte. The first president from the Philippines' rest of South dared to mention the S-word in his meeting with then-Malaysian Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad in 2018. It is the name never to be spoken, Sabah, if the Philippines wants smooth ties with its good neighbor Malaysia, known for its soil palm plantations and scuba diving spots. Sabah is the resource-rich land occupied by Malaysia but claimed by the Philippines as part of its southern islands called Mindanao. It took a tweet by Philippine Foreign Secretary Teodoro Loxon Jr., a man, also on Twitter, agitated even Singapore's top diplomat Vivian Balakrishnan, to revive a controversy that many career diplomats have chosen to keep dormant. On July 27, Loxon berated the U.S. Embassy for tweeting that America donated hygiene kits to Filipinos from Sabah. Malaysia. Sabah is not in Malaysia. If you want to have anything to do with the Philippines, Loxon tweeted the U.S. Embassy, which refused to take down the tweet. Two days later, Malaysia on July 29 said it will summon the Philippines' ambassador to Kuala Lumpur, Charles Jose, over Loxon's irresponsible statement. Loxon shot back by summoning Malaysia's ambassador to Manila. Is this the right time to reassert the Philippines' dormant claim to Sabah? How should the Philippines and Malaysia move forward? How it all began the Philippines' claim over Sabah stems from a basic question, did the Sultan of Sulu through a document signed on January 22, 1878, sell or merely lease Sabah to the British who ruled the area now known as Malaysia? Malaysia interprets the 1878 document to mean the Sultan of Sulu, Jamal al Am, sold Sabah to the British. The Philippines asserts the Sultan merely leased it. The catch is, for decades, Malaysia paid the heirs of the Sulu Sultanate or 5300 or around $1,200, based on the 1878 agreement. For the Philippines that Malaysia is paying rent means Sabah was only leased to the British. Malaysia, on the other hand, considers the Urm 5300 as payment for the cession of Sabah. Malaysian Foreign Minister Hisham Mudden recently said, however, that Malaysia stopped paying the Sulu Sultanate's heirs since 2013. The whole controversy is whether he leased it or sold it to a company called the British North Borneo Company, said historian Manuel L. Quezon III. Sari-saring matataas na kalibre ng baril ang ipinagyabang ng Moro National Liberation Front o MNLF ng eksklusibong ipinasilip nila sa News 5 ang kanilang bagong tatag na unit sa Hulo Sulu. Ang grupo raw na ito ang magiligtas sa mga kababayan natin na naiipit sa gulo ngayon sa Sabah. Ayon kay MNLF Chairman Nurmi Suare, ipinangalan niya ang task force sa kanyang ninuno na si Panglima Mahabasar Elije. Ito raw kasi ang totoong nagmamayari na pinag-aawayang Sabah. Kaya mas may karapatan daw ang MNLF na umangkin sa nasabing teritoryo. Yes, it's a walaan. You see, you go around, most of the people that are related to me, uh, Sabah and uh, Sarawak, belong to our people. The, in reality, this is our land. Malaysia is a stranger, a complete stranger. Kwento ni Miswari noong 1658 kung saan nagkaroon ng kudita sa Brunei, humingi o mano ng tulong ang hari ng Kingdom of Brunei sa kanyang ninuno. So what happened was, uh, they sought the help of my great-grandfather, Panglima Mahabasal Elegy, uh, to rescue the king and the family and to restore him to his throne. And that's exactly what he did. Sinabi ni Kiram na si Nenya San siyang ipadala ang pangkat sa Saba matapos na ang Soltonato ay naiwan sa isang kasundu ang balangkas na tinatakan noong Oktubre sa pagitan ng mga rebelde ng Manila at Filipino Muslim na nagbibigay daan sa isang autonomous na lugar sa katimugang Pilipinas na tahanan ng Muslim na minorya ng bansang higit sa lahat Kristiano. Kinikilala namin ang kakayahan ng Malaysia. 
Wala kaming mga bisig at kakayahan ngunit mayroon kaming katotohanan sa kasaysayan, aniya, at idinagdag na ang kapalaran ng pangkat ay upang makita ang pagkilala na karapat dapat sa kanila. O mamatay sila sa pagtatanggol ang kanilang mga karapatan sa mga ninuno.